How's it going, everybody? This is RBT coming at you on the Tennessee Titans St. Louis Rams recap video. The Titans win 28 21, and I apologize for the late upload. I just got back home uh, from my game. I didn't have time to make it before. But, anyways, regardless, the Titans won 28 21, and I was actually extremely, extremely surprised by how many points were scored in this game. Um, another thing I was surprised by is the fact that Kellen Clemens outperformed Jake Locker. Jake Locker really struggled in this game, wasn't getting much help from his wide receivers, but still, he struggled through two picks. Kellen Clemens didn't really make any mistakes aside from that last fumble, which really, I mean, isn't really his fault. Um, but that was the, that was the, the decisive uh, factor in the game, that last fumble. Um, a big hit by uh, Derek Morgan, a, a great play, and really was it was the difference. I mean, this game was extremely, extremely even. Even the yardage was the same. It was 363 yards to 363 yards. So that showed you how even the game was. Um, was surprised that we ran the ball as effectively as we did, but kind of uh, crossed this itself out because I was surprised how Kellen Clemens threw the football. Um, very efficient. Didn't make any mistakes throwing the football. So that's that. Jake Locker made two pretty big mistakes. Um, just really didn't look himself today. Just looked a little off, but the, the Rams pass defense did look very good today. Um, whoa, Chris Johnson had a heck of a game, and uh, it's it's really good to see to see uh, Chris Johnson getting back into his old form. And I think this season he looks so much better than he did a season ago. Um, kind of the run game kind of hit a little struggle for the last couple games, but today really, really, really made me excited going forward. Especially with the way that the, the Rams defense performed against the Seahawks last week, uh, specifically in the run game, held held Mar Marshawn Lynch to what 20 yard, 28 yards, 30 yards, something like that, running, and then uh, Chris Johnson gets 150. That's really impressive. It wasn't just him; uh, we had a bunch of running backs get <laughs> four uh, a touchdown each. Who was it? Or you had Chris Johnson; he had two. You had Sean Green get the first touchdown in the game, and Jake Locker ran for one as well. <laughs> but I was just very. Uh, Surprised and excited with how well we ran the football. And on the flip side, kind of disappointed how we really defended the run. Uh, with that said, Zach Stacy is a very good young running back. He's um, going to be good there in St. Louis for the next couple seasons. Rookie out of Vanderbilt. Um, looking, he's looking very good. Ran for 127 yards in this one. So uh, kudos to him. Had a great game. Um, kind of weird to see us uh, play against Jared Cook and for him to score a touchdown. Against us, which was actually the only passing touchdown of the game, um, but yeah, very uh, very surprising how scored how how scoring was. But I'm really happy that we came out with a victory. Um, I mean, uh, we really need to get back on path with the victories, uh, and we we got one today back at 500, and we're still in the mix in the AFC South. As of right now, the Colts are are losing. Um, 24 to 19. They're actually coming back here in the fourth quarter. Hopefully, the uh, Texans can score some, um, uh, score again. But Andre's been having a huge game. Actually, got a uh, has me 50 points for my fantasy team, who have been struggling. Frick, my fantasy team has been doing horrible. But that's irrelevant, irrelevant right now. But what I do want to look at real quick though is I'm not sure what we will be in the AFC South. I know we're gonna be in second place, but how far behind the Colts if they in fact lose today? We will be. Uh, let's see here. If the Colts lose, we'll be a game, a game and a half behind the Colts, which isn't. I mean, that's not impossible. We we very easily, uh, we we're we're right in the thick of things, and we uh, I think with the schedule that we have coming up, it, it is very possible, very possible possible that we could uh somehow uh snag first place in the next couple weeks. I mean, next week we go play Jacksonville. That's an easy win. Hopefully, hopefully. Dear God, hopefully, because I said that last season, and for some reason we always we decide to struggle versus Jacksonville. But hopefully we can get the win next week. I think we should, and then we have our opportunity against the Colts. We we'll play them two times in three weeks. That's our opportunity right there to uh, take uh, take lead in the division. We hopefully can. Um, I mean, you look at the rest of the schedule and. All these games, I would not count the Denver game, but all the games, aside from the Denver game, is winnable. You play Jacksonville twice, that's two wins. The Colts, I think we split games with. The Raiders should be an easy win as well. I think out of the next three games, we definitely get two wins, if not three. Um, Denver, I, I think that, that should be a loss. The Cardinals, Jacksonville, and Texans, I think those, those three games... 
could very easily be wins too. So optimistically, I, I'm projecting one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six and two down the stretch optimistically. At worst, I believe five and three. But and it could be better than that. But if I had to be have an even kill about it, I'd say six and two down the stretch, and that could that would that put us at ten and um ten and six at the season, which very easily almost for sure would give us a playoff spot because our, our first uh, half of the season was actually pretty tough. I mean you play the Chiefs, the Seahawks and the, the 49ers back to back to back. That's a pretty tough uh, stretch in the schedule. And we very easily could be 5-3 and three right now if we were to beat the Texans that, uh, that one week. But that doesn't matter. We control our own destiny, really. And we're not out of anything just yet. But hopefully Jake Locker improves. I mean, we should we should be okay against the Jacksonville Jaguars. If we lose the Jaguars next week, I will lose my mind. But anyways, very happy with today's performance, uh, Rams fans. I do want to uh, say good game. I mean... To compete like that and compete the way you've been doing without your starting quarterback, um, with a Kellen Clemens quarterback, which I really don't believe is that great, even though you look good good today, to be able to compete like that is very, very impressive. So kudos and uh, good luck to the re to, to you for the rest of the season. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about this game in the comment section below. Have a great day. Until next time, roll tango go socks and go tight. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash s3rtr. Uh, leave a like if you haven't already. Till next time, peace.